Here's a quick video to show you how to utilize Quizlet to know you're prepared for the assessment at the end of each term. You have to be logged into your school account that you set up as a member of the class. You will then have access to the sets. So once you're logged in using the one that you set up at the beginning of the year, you'll see over here your classes, which English 9, Cody 1718 is where you want to go. And then the best way to know that you're prepared is to use the full year of each set. So you want to do this for each set. So literary terms and then prefix, suffix, roots. So when you click on that, you have several options that you've probably been using if you've been studying. Um, but the best option to know that you're ready for the actual test is to click on test. Because this is what I use for the random quiz each week. So you can see it gives you nine terms. But you want to get the entire list to take a test over all of them. So you click on options and you want to say total of 83 and make sure you uncheck these other options and you only want written because that's what the actual test is. It's a fill in the blank. So you want it to be accurate to what you're going to actually have that day. And then you say create new test. If you can take this and fill it completely out and hit check answers and get a 50% on this, uh, accounting for any spelling errors, because I'll go in and check for spelling errors, then you know that you should be able to get 100% on the actual test. And once again, you wanna do that with both. So after you've done one set, so here I've done the LTs, then I wanna go back and do the same thing with the PSRs. So I would then go into English nine sets. Don't just do first semester because you might only know the LTs or the PSRs in there and you wanna make sure you know both because it's two separate tests. So then you wanna go into PSRs and do test and do the same thing again and say options, uncheck these and keep, keep written checked and then put 87 and say create new test and do the same thing there. If you can get a 50% or more on both of those, then you know you're ready for the test and can ace it.